I fell in love yesterday. I was walking into this building in my school, and along the way, I see this girl about to walk into the into the building, and she's about to open the door, and she turns to look at me, and we met eyes. It's a powerful moment. And suddenly, she smacked her face with the door, like on the side, bam, her whole head like jolted. <laughs> <laughs> while looking straight at me and uh, she freaked out ran into the building and um, I was like I'm in love but she ran too fast so I couldn't get back or couldn't make or get to her or whatever so she's out in the my love is somewhere out in the middle of the world and I can't get to her anymore <laughs> it was hilarious she just smacked herself um, with the door while meeting eyes with me it was really funny but anyway weakness INTPs don't have any weaknesses, do we? Well, there's one that that is pretty big and it would probably be good to address it. So I find that INTPs, like myself, are very um, reactive and passive individuals. And I know a lot, of, some INTPs want to avoid the spotlight, if at all possible, um, but some also do want to have certain respects, and it's like a healthy respect of people that, that view them, and I think that's perfectly fine because um, to kind of be able to integrate in society, you need to develop certain trusts and um, respects that people have onto you, but those don't happen when you just sit around and wait for things to just kind of unfold. And um, so like for me, sometimes it takes a long time for people to trust me, but it's because I I don't actively, a lot of the time, try to put myself out there, but through time, yes, they see that I'm consistent, um, but a lot of the time, by that time, it's kind of too late because of whatever situation. Hey, we're at the end of class, and they find out, you're a nice guy, or something like that, or you're, you seem like a good friend, but this, this season has been over, and we haven't really built a trust or whatever. Um, or if you're wanting to like get integrated, um, not all of y'all are believers, but like want to get integrated in a church, you have to kind of be active, you know, and, and choose to do things, say things, um, so that people can actually respond and, and pick that out. Because not a lot of people are very intuitive, um, and they kind of really do demand or ex they expect or they re they rely on the like an actual pro proclamation or an act so that they can build um, evidence for things you might say about yourself or other people might say about yourself or say about you. Um, so yeah, INTPs need to find ways to be active, especially if they're wanting to take advantage of the social at or structure or atmosphere, um, wherever that may be, you know, school, church, um, any, any place. Um, and so, and even those who don't want to be in the spotlight, I've Fear is not a good thing to just keep you from doing things. You might find that you're really strong in certain areas, but you're you're neglecting yourself um, from growing or ex experiencing these new parts of you if you hide from from the from the from the spotlight and being able to, I guess, grow and and explore yourself. So, yeah. So you INTPs out there, if you find yourself um, not very active, or you find yourself passive, um, what do you feel about that? Do you actively try to um, break that down um, so that you become active? What are some ways that you do that? What are some ways that you are active? Because um, I find a lot of INTPs won't be active unless it's extreme. And if <laughs> we're very adaptable people, we just kind of accept the situation or circumstances and move on. <laughs> um, but in doing so, we kind of lose, um, I guess, just other people recognizing what we truly value uh, because we just kind of don't, we come across that we don't care, and a lot of times we don't care. Um, even though even though we do have things we do care about, it just doesn't come across because we, I guess we more care about just kind of simplicity. Not, I don't know if simplicity is the right word, but it's just easier to adapt and move on than to try to... Um, you know, shake things up, um, and kind of making people uncomfortable. So, yeah, so if, uh, I guess I'm trying to think of some, like, even this channel for me is, like, kind of a very active thing to do, because um, I'm, 
I'm verbally expressing my mind and you know, a lot of these thoughts haven't been fully, you know, developed and um, it can, it can, it can be very intimidating, um, but also just, just doing something is actively having to choose to sit down and make a video and be consistent um, at it. And hey, we've been going strong for almost a year, I think a year, um, December. So sometime in the late December will be a full, full year of this channel. Anyway, um, so that and also I'm like trying to get back into the church sphere because I kind of not I fell out, but like my church fell apart last year and it took a long time to kind of get involved again. Um, and but you know I have that's another can of worms where I'm like I have a lot of problems with the, with the church and how it's run, but the community is very important for me, and so um, I have to actively show that I want to take part, that people can trust me, and so that they can allow me to, you know, be a part of more deeper things, like being on the worship team and stuff. Um, even the book or that I'm writing, and just, um, I find that my character, my main characters suffer <laughs> because I'm not a very active person. I'm not, a, I'm a very passive and reactive. So things happen, then I do it, rather than I do things because I believe in it, or I, you know, um, a, cer a certain situation comes about, like, and I'm forced to make a choice. Normally, I'm just like, just kind of move along, <laughs> um, and it's not not good. But at the same time, it is a very good strength. It's our strength weakness, I guess, and because um, we're very adaptable, but we um, find ourselves um, not taking or not pursuing anything, and then we wonder why people don't respond to us as well as we'd like. Or if you like staying out of the spotlight. But anyway, I'm rambling. Seven minutes. So um, yeah. So if you have any of this issue, I would like to hear your thoughts and like what are your tactics to try to get out of it. Or do you just think INTP should just stay in the shadows for the rest of their life? <laughs> I mean, I I would say no. Even if us being introverted and stuff like that, um, I find it's better to discover new things about ourselves by putting ourselves in uncomfortable situations and whatnot. So, I'll see you guys in another video, another life. <laughs> see ya.